four rockets uh, hit uh, Reng Hongli, uh, a small town near the border, 10 kilometers from the border with Syria, killing that 17-year-old, injuring another person. It's not the first time to cities on the Turkish side of the border uh, get this uh, kind of attack, experience that kind of incident. So far, since Operation Olive Branch started, four people have been killed in several different locations on attacks that have that are believed to be carried out by the YPG, rockets that are fired from YPG controlled territory into Turkey. And according to Ankara, this confirms Turkey's justification to go inside Syria and to eliminate the threat posed by the YPG. Military analysts are talking about at least seven fronts and Turkey, as well as this, the Free Syrian Army, are advancing in three different directions. The idea here really is to unite those fronts and to encircle Afrin, the city of Afrin. This is going to take some time. These uh, operations are being conducted uh, from the north, but also from the east and uh, from the west. But this is very complicated terrain, a terrain that the YPG knows really well. So you, all analysts agree that it could take some time before the whole area is captured. Of course, Turkey is using a lot of its military power. It's using uh, tanks. It's also using drones in the operations across uh, that area. But analysts suggest it could take at least five months to completely uh, take over this region.